hi, this is Chantal from the Purring Cat Studio and welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to do this video in fast forward uh, with soft music for you to enjoy and that's why you have the voice over right now. So before I let you go with the rest of this video, first I want to say a few things. So this whole piece uh, in my art journal was made with uh, paper scraps. I've been making a few journals lately and every time I have to cut a piece off I kept it because they're all in the same palette. So which brings me to what I wanted to say about uh, paper scraps is if you group them by uh, palette, uh, color palette, this will help you immensely if you want to use them to do a background like I'm doing today. Um, that way it's a lot easier and it's the same thing if you want to use some of the scraps for uh, adding some um, like a punch of color then you look in your scraps of colored ones right so these ones were all in the same tones it was all vintage and beige and very light soft cream colors because um, the last few journals I made were all in that tone and anyways it's usually the tone <laughs> the the kind of color that I do like for my papers at least so I use only scraps of papers and then in a few minutes, uh, once I'm finished doing the um, layout of the background, you will see a bunch of images which um, I will use to create my little story in my art journal today. And these um, images are all fussy cut um, from books that I've purchased. I will link them. Uh, I have three that I use today. Um, very lovely uh, books um, really one of them is uh, called extraordinary things to cut out and collage um, that particular one i really highly recommend there's images of all kinds uh, whether it's plants uh, fishes uh, cars cooking things uh, people eyes you know feet <laughs> glasses cats all kinds of animals it's really incredible I will put the link for the Amazon um, for this book in particular well but I will put also the other one that I've used uh, which is the uh, cutout and collage vintage botanical plants I absolutely love that book and at the complete end you will see a few um, quotes uh, that I've put and I've gotten these from a vintage quotes and words ephemera book I absolutely love that book as well sometimes we run out of ideas to put a little note or a little sentence something I really love to put quotes on all of my work uh, in my art journal anyways so I will link these three uh, journals that I purchased to do the work today um what else did I want to say well, I took my time in fussy cutting, so I used scissors and sometimes uh, I think you call it an art knife or an exacto knife for whenever there's details in words, like for plants. Usually it's when there's flowers. A lot of times you have to go inside where all the leaves are. So I took my time, I fussy cutted all the images I wanted, and then I created this that you're seeing right now with a bunch of scraps of papers. And then I use all the images. I really, really hope you enjoy this. I hope it inspires you to create your own. You really don't need much. Like I said, fussy cutted images, some good adhesive, um, probably some clear gesso or um, matte medium to protect your paper uh, in case you want to use paints and such. And of course, um, images that you can cut out in any book. I just so happen to have purchased these journals to cut out in but any book magazine that you have of course you can cut out your images so I will leave you on this I want to say um, thank you for watching of course and please if you have a second uh, click the like button it helps my channel grow it's free and it will also help you see more content of that kind in the future so I give you a great big hug from here in Nova Scotia Canada I hope you're all happy healthy and safe and now I leave you with the rest of the video